she said that she'll never apologize. She has nothing to say sorry for. Her. And from there on, it's, I haven't spoken to her in years. Your parents' divorce, describe what that period of time was like for you. Um, I mean, I was more, um, I wasn't around the house at all. I was in college or no, I was here in Gainesville just training. Um, so it was, a, it was a difficult time just because, I mean, growing up, you always see two people together all the time. All you see is, wow, my parents, they're happy. They love each other. Um, but, you know, that's just not the case. As you get older, you start learning, and that's, that wasn't the case. But um, a lot of things happened in my life. A lot of uh, separation through the family. Um, the kids kind of leaning to one side of the family and not the other. Um, and then, I don't know, people's true colors come out. And, and that meant what for you? Um, you know, it, man, I, I haven't really talked about this. Uh, you know, it's, at one point it was, uh, it was just like, we were all against, um, I mean, we were all against uh, someone, and then later on in life it changed. And that was your your presumably dad yeah. initially. And we were all against him, uh, just because everything I was getting feeding like feeding like all this information that I didn't know if it was true or not, and it was hard for him to tell us the truth, just because he cared so much about us, and if he told us the truth on everything, why they got divorced and all this, that we would never speak to him again. But matter of fact, when I found out the truth from him, I mean, I almost got up and punched him just because I was pissed, I was, I was angry. Um, I mean, like, how could you do that? Uh, but we settled it, cleared everything out, and me and my dad are closer than we've ever been right now. And I'm happy that it happened because he's so happy right now. And Natalie, my stepmom, well, I don't even call her my stepmom anymore. I call her mom because she is my mom. What she, how she treats me, my family, is, and my dad, like, she's the best. She's the best thing that's ever happened. This is something that I don't regret happened because they're happy, and that's all I want. How did it impact your relationship with your mom? Um, well, when it happened, it was, we were all on my mom's side. Um, but then later on in life, uh, when I told her, um, when I told her that I was, she was going to be a grandma and I'm having a kid, um, she said some very, very hurtful things that kind of ended our relationship, me and her. What, what did she say? I mean, I don't know if I really want to put this on. She just said some things uh, to me and my wife that, I mean, I can get over it, but I just want an apology from her. And she said that she'll never apologize. She has nothing to say sorry for her. And from there on, it's, I haven't spoken to her in years. And honestly, I hate to say this, I don't care. I'm happy right now with the, my family. I, my job is to protect my family. And I will do anything, no matter what, to protect my family. What's the likelihood you think it could be repaired? Knowing uh, my mom, she's stubborn as hell. She'll never apologize, so. I mean, it sounds like you're stubborn too, though, right? I am too, yeah, and that's probably where I get it from. And all I want is a, a sincere apology to me, and she has a lot of kissing to my wife and my kids. But 
I can get over it, but I know she won't. It's just her. What does Kayla say? She's happy right now. Like, we don't talk about it. Yeah. Because it was just so, something that happened to me and her, and, and that crushed us. And But we moved forward, and we stuck together as a family, and we have a family, and we love it, and we're happy. <laughs>